And I'm alone, you still depend on Thanks for playing it with Nickel today, guys. Could you introduce the band? Absolutely. I'm Matt. I'm Greg. I'm Zo. I'm Chris. We're yeah, by all means necessary. necessary. All right. Thanks again for coming today, guys. Uh, to start with, could you tell us uh, about the beginnings of the band? Anything? The band started about three and a half years ago. Uh, I've been playing with Chris in the DC scene since about 2001. And uh, we had moved to LA approximately about the same time, you know, maybe four or five years ago. And, uh, we're kind of jamming out together and when it got to the point where we're like, all right, well, this has become more than just a little side project for us. It's turning into a band. We started looking for a rhythm section and these two guys have been playing before us in Citizen of the Empire. They toured, they did a record together and they were kind of looking for a new direction and a new singer and guitar player. So it was kind of the coming of two halves and by all means necessary, it was born. It was pretty instant. It was like a blind date almost. We show up at the studio. It was the first time Chris and I had heard about these guys, and we we're like, yeah, yeah, whatever. It's going to take us a long time to find somebody, whatever. We played the first time. We had an amazing rehearsal. It went for hours and hours. We left. We didn't say anything. We got in the car together. Chris and I are driving away. And then we started giggling and high-fiving like little schoolgirls. We're like, this is the one. This is the one. They're it. And that's, that's how our band started. We actually it took a little bit longer to think about it, but no. <laughs> Recording the new album, I understand you were in Hollywood at Sunset Studios. Could you kind of go into that a little bit? Pretty amazing experience, Sunset Sound Studios. Uh, a lot of history in there. We uh, started off in the, the, uh, the same room as Prince's Purple Rain, known as the Purple Rain Room. And uh, wondering about this little closet, this water closet, where you slide the doorway and this bathroom just appears. <laughs> Billy Mims, our producer, has also worked with uh, Paramore and Yellow Card told us that basically they built this little tiny area because Prince is such a germaphobe that they had to build a separate restroom just for him so we wouldn't have to go out and get his hands dirty with the other Sunset Rockers. <laughs> so that's the, story. Story. that's the bathroom we got to use every day. But, uh, we Sunset, defiled that bathroom well, we definitely on a daily basis <laughs> just for Prince. <laughs> Prince, is, he'd be spinning in his diamonds and pearls if he had <laughs> seen that basically. But it was an amazing experience. We uh, worked long hours, 17 hour days, wow. we slaved away. Our producer was unreal, Billy Mims, and uh, we definitely got a good feeling of nostalgia and the history in there. And I think we captured a little bit of that. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty inspiring when you walk down the halls and it's just covered in platinum records and so much history. And Led Zeppelin has worked there, and the Rolling Stones have worked there. And you know, I sang my vocals in the same vocal booth that Jim Morrison sang wow. in. And cool. So I was just, you know, you're kind of in a, in a state of awe working in a studio of that caliber. Um, could you tell me a little bit about the finished product, um, some of the songs, inspirations, that type of thing? We wrote a lot of this on the road the last time we were on tour, mm -hmm. and that was the coolest thing because it was really the four of us together, and we weren't busy with our other lives, and just were able to concentrate and make songs just about the things that we've come across. So that we hopefully that translate into the music that we have today. Okay, and. Uh, when is the album actually coming out? Uh, right now we've got our, well we're digitally already available so you can get it on iTunes and Amazon and Napster and Rhapsody. Um, we also just got licensed for our cover, I Just Died In Your Arms Tonight, so you can get that as well. And then uh, those tracks are actually going to be used for our full length, which we're finishing in October when we get off the road. So that will probably be available in early spring 2009. Okay. And I understand, I saw you're sponsored by a drink, could you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, we're sponsored by Crunk Energy Drink. 
which has been an amazing yeah, company to work with. And we're officially on the same artist roster as a little John, which is fantastic. That doesn't suck. No, no, not at all. But uh, no, they've been great. They're expanding. They're really trying to make a dent in the uh, rock music you know, environment. So they've grabbed on to some you know strong <coughs> bands that are you know still kind of up and coming, and we've great been grassroots. growing with the company and. They've done a lot of great support for us and you know taking care of a lot of our, our printed materials and promotion and you know they put us out on tour and so it's been fantastic working with Crunk. Well, you've got a long drive, let's say Denver to Salt Lake City, you've got a Crunk in hand, it's a lot safer than trucker speed. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> it doesn't it's hurt to have a cooler full of next. energy drinks. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, could you tell us a little bit about the tour, the upcoming tour where you're all heading and so forth? We're heading all over. We've got 40 dates on this tour but wow. we've actually expanded. A lot of what we've done today are things that uh, our booking agent is added on, kind of last minute, um, playing record stores, coffee shops during the day, uh, almost like the library tour. And then at <laughs> night, big blown out rock shows. So we've got 40 cities, 40 shows planned out, and uh, you know, west coast to east coast, and on down south and back. It's been great so far. Wow. It's great because we're able to like talk to uh, you know all kinds of people. Not not everyone can make it out to the rock show, but we're able to see them in other promotional ideas. Whether we play acoustic sometimes, or even you know like this where we're doing a blown out show in the middle of a record store. It's great. So, <laughs> well, we really appreciate you guys coming out today and really enjoy your music and good luck in the future. Appreciate it. Thanks for having us. Thank you, Wooden Nickel. Thanks.